what we're going to do today is we're going to paint a solar cell. And so this is our paint. And this is uh, what we call methyl ammonium lead triiodide. It's a perovskite structure and it will dry very rapidly and you'll see it, you'll know when it's absorbing light because it'll turn brown. It's under a light which is to simulate the sunlight. We've got it connected via two strips of metal to this multimeter and you can see right now that the multimeter is reading zero volts because we haven't put down our, our uh, absorber layer yet. And if you watch the meter when we paint this on, we should get some voltage. You'll see that we have 500 and uh, 600 millivolts of uh, voltage out of our solar cell. And we've just painted on a solar cell. So the goal of what you saw was to demonstrate that we can use printing-based technologies to produce a complete solar cell. So a traditional solar cell is typically based on silicon and it's quite costly in terms of energy inputs. In contrast, the technology that you just saw demoed is much, much lower cost. It can be produced at much faster speeds and has very high performance while maintaining a much lower cost structure. We'll be able to make it cheaper, better, faster. Uh, what I'm gonna show you uh, right now is how we scale our processing to, to larger area. We have a small amount of ink here. We dispense it in front of the, the blade and then start moving this blade. So basically, the glass slide is now coated with the material. Uh, what's the advantage of this kind of printing is that we can ultimately take this printing and go roll to roll. And that means printing it like a newspaper, where in a newspaper you print letters, in this case we print uniform films. We can actually produce this 25 terawatt by using the 10 largest newspaper presses in the next three to five years. And if we say, well, we need to do this right now, then, we, then this is the way to do it.